Fire Signs, welcome back to the channel. It's me, OU, with a tarot card message for you. We're using the Everyday Witch Tarot to see what spirit has to say in regards to your energies today. Let's see who wants to come towards you, what they have to say. What's the message from spirit today? All right, let's get into it. What messages do we have for the Fire Signs today? We got uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. The Fire Sign Trio. Make sure you uh, like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. Want to bring in uh, other fire signs as well. Cross watchers, welcome. You guys got a seat at the table. <laughs> Gather some of these messages up. All right. Grounding your reading today, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Hermit. This could be you uh, practicing privacy. This could be some sort of a self-reflection, introspection. Maybe you're going over the details or combing over the details of a situation here. This could be taking on some sort of an accountability. Yeah, your boundaries. Could be uh, defending yourself from a situation here. Uh, could be putting up a, a mild or an aggressive stance. This would be known as physical boundaries, right? Like six feet distance. Right? This could be someone going on some sort of a spiritual discipline. Sevens are about, uh, or physical disciplines. Physical dis disciplines. The numerology for seven is usually, for me, it's luck. Of course, it's, it's for silver and gold. Um, it's innate abilities and talent. It's associated with luck and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's something that comes from within or that's inherent. But it being physical, you're probably working on your health or some sort of a gym regimen or something like that. Yeah. Either working on your health this could be a gym regimen, right? Ten of Wands, all this working out, trying to drop burdens, shed weight and pounds, right? Or this could be a move where you were grounded here, um, where you had uh, your, or wherever this was, this was where you were planted here, and this is where you're moving. So this is a move. You could be moving from one home to the next. Knight of Swords. There's a conversation that needs to be had. Someone needs to get their point across here. Could also be wanting to look uh, or look exactly comb over the details of a contract mm -hmm. once you get into a contract you can't get out of it sort of like how libras view marriage right <laughs> three of pentacles yeah someone wants to work with you they want to connect with you this could be some sort of a um again a work bay uh this could be a gym workout like accountability partner here the three of pentacles someone wants to work with you so it's not necessarily romantic um, but again, <laughs> look to your left, look to your right. These people know that they only they only want to work with attractive attractive people. They know they only like attractive people. They know they would choose the, under, the the attractive person over the unattractive person, whether that's in romance or business, right? Because sex sales in business. What else we got? The nine of wands, the wounded warrior here. Yeah, this is someone. This could be someone going on a big health journey here. I'm getting a lot of the this story is mainly about um yeah weight loss or um, I'm not sure this could be an adventure meeting strange new people but I'm getting a lot of weight loss here someone's uh going within themselves or they're again accountability introspection they're they're taking a look at themselves in a the mirror or they're just sitting down right again if you have 10 failed relationships or if you get fired from every job that you go to what is the common denominator in all of these situations? You. So figure out what it is about you. Is it something that you need to change about yourself or is it something that you need to change about the people that you're attracting? Mm -hmm. Accountability partnerships here. People that actually uh, want you to succeed, right? Someone says, um, someone's saying something. <laughs> This could be encouragement here or giving you like uh, harsh criticism. Yeah, tough love, two of cups. We have a love relationship on the way to you. So someone knows. So this is what I'm getting here. This is hypergamy, right? When women have a hypergamous nature, they know they better get their ass in a gym. They know they better get healthy. They know they better stop climbing all these, doing all these bodies, right? No one said you had to be perfect, right? A woman can change. A man can change. <laughs> Do you see it happening though? Or are they, or are they just talking about it? For one year, two years, five years, ten years, twenty years. Do you see a change happening? Like, it doesn't take two years to lose ten pounds, <laughs> right? It doesn't take uh, all this big super thing. Oh, I gotta go shake the head, the, 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 the hand of the president in order to own a business. No, go to your state's website and file an LLC for your family. 
you learn as you go. I ain't got to explain all the benefits and all the write-offs right now. It's just like going to the gym for the first time. You're not going to walk out the first day, cock diesel. You did a thousand squats and all this. You got the butt of a uh, friggin' James and a giant peach. <laughs> no. You got a tower card. It's a transformation. It's a slow process. You have to break something down to build it back up. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Someone could also be hiding a move. This could be like the great escape is what I'm getting here. Yeah, someone's having to guard their territory. They could be working with people. This would be like when a woman is fed up and ready to get out of a relationship, right? When we hear about the stories from our, our uh, grandparents, right? <laughs> when, they in, when they were actually in relationships that they could not be in, right? They, they, they were given shotgun weddings and some of them had... Um, arranged marriages but the marriages that were actually bad right not just i wanted to end the relationship for, rec for reconcilable differences a man was actually beating you to death or a woman was spending your money frivolously right <laughs> someone here is trying to help a woman escape from a situation here or whatever this dude has his bros trying to give him um information about the backstory on this person right we got we can't even discern things ourselves right we um we also, we need to help the people around us, right? When people say, I don't have any friends, or the older I get, the less friends I have, and I don't care what people say about me. Queen of Wands type energy. <laughs> the bad bitch, right? The witch. The fiery queen. She could be very charismatic for now. She could be very powerful and potent for now, right? <laughs> That's only when she has people to look at her as some sort of a spectacle. The only reason you're beautiful is because we have people here who value beauty. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? Just like the only reason people use money is because the government said we have to pay for shit. The only time these women step down off that high horse or has a chance to get humbled <laughs> is when someone looks better than them comes around or a man that's not putting up when their bullshit comes around. They've been doing a lot of arguing here. Yeah, five of swords, right? My intuition doesn't fail me. They've been getting off a lot of words here. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not a man that bashes women. <laughs> I actually prefer women uh, hold a, a level of accountability that men have. If men are out here building empire state buildings and recreating the world around you, building the world around you, what are you bringing to the table? More for fire signs. We got king of cups. So this person, hmm, this person's a home wrecker. They're an illusionist here with the King of Cups, someone that pulls on the heartstrings of people. <laughs> this could be someone that possibly doesn't believe in karma until karma catches up with that ass. Even women, they think they're the, loud, the loudest barking dog in a room until another dog, right? <laughs> that, it, that doesn't even have to have the, lar the largest, uh, uh, the loudest bark or the largest bite. Probably just really cool and laid back. That person will get passed over, right? We talk about two animals, <laughs> not to equate women to dogs, but to put two animals in an animal shelter. Which one are you going to come choose? The one that's barking and acting crazy or the one that looks like they have some sort of a home training, maybe a past uh, family? right they're wanting someone to nurture them right but they don't know how to uh reciprocate right this is them this is someone coming to heal them possibly a doctor a nurse maybe a comedian or someone wanting to take them out and this is the attitude that they're putting up here now this is multiple situations that came into the story at the last minute let's see what else we got uh the tower card actually the only and the hermit mm -hmm. someone's about to have a shocking uh, what am i getting something that's gonna blow your mind i would usually say an aha moment but someone's about to find out something very shocking could be in regards to health as well queen of cup i'm sorry the king of cups and the queen of wands fire and hot mixing here could be a content creator again maybe a relationship guru or something like that someone that maybe likes to travel All right talked about moving here a lot of people want to work with this individual. They could have some sort of an OnlyFans, right? Two of Cups. They see this person as romantically attractive. They want to be in this relationship, right? 
Uh, five of Swords, Knight of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person has a bad habit of arguing with people. They can't keep a relationship or a commitment here. They could talk about how they can attract as many people as they want, right? Women out here have never been turned down by a dude. <laughs> but how many dudes have actually <laughs> tickled your fancy and granted your wish? That's what I have for you here today, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.